gonna cause trouble again, so I'm going to be moving the workers over here. I think we're going to speed up our animation a bit, so I'm going to go here to the preferences. I'm going to turn off animate or manual moves, so we'll just see things flash a little quicker here, but don't be alarmed. Uh, how many horses do I have? Not enough, so I'm going to separate road here because I'm worried that another explosion is going to uh, wreck this road here.
Dares to Defend. almost forgotten how uh, mobile a horse horse can be. Uh, in C5 they tend to favor not favor them because they're not really great attacking units. Uh, they're really specialized for speed. But in that game, because of the uh, mechanics, the non-stacking mechanics, it's almost always better to just have like a wall of infantry backed by artillery. Strategically, you might have a few horses in the back um, doing cleanup and, and or harassing the enemy, but you almost re very rarely. I'm watching this closely because I think he's going to land some units here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move some of my horses back here. So yeah, you might have a few horses in the back or tanks uh, strategically doing uh, cleanup in, the, in your back, you know, in case there's a straggler or and they try to sneak a settler or something behind your, behind your lines, but they're really often not that useful, at least from my experience. this pollution here. I'm going to send my horses to shadow this ship here. Thank <laughs> you. 
built a city right there. is being able to let, uh, park my ships right next to the cities and not have to worry about bombard damage or anything like that because they don't exist in this game and it won't exist for another long while The game does run more closely uh, with an RNG, so you see that my uh, three life swordsman died to uh, that if defender. Uh, things like that happen. Oh, I did run into bad luck there. So bad luck can happen, and they can turn the tide because you can see here the defender just leveled up. So now it's harder to attack the city. Wow, three swords in a row is not good. Okay, I'm gonna activate my. Uh, Veteran swords. Okay. Oh, not, not a bad prize. We got two workers. Okay, so let's move in. Defenders. So I have to, I think, pause here because I lost a few units in that attack. Well, let's get some swords going here. lost the city. Yeah, oh, this is the city view in uh, Civ 3. Uh, it's basically all pre-baked, these coastlines, 
or the, these terrains are all pretty big. What's changing is just this stuff here. Uh, but it looks really nice, and it kind of is a preview of what the game look, would look in Civ 5. Okay, let's wait. Another Zulu worker. Two of my units trying to attack that Zulu warrior. camps are single-handedly financing my war.
people had met the Chinese and I didn't really even comment on it. Um, yeah, so sometimes you can miss... Sometimes... Oh, they don't have a lion, so like us. Sometimes you can miss things like new sieves coming around. Unless you explicitly contact them. I need to find a keybind for just waking up one type of unit. I think there is a
might be a good place to take. This might be a good city to take. Uh, let's see, what can I spare here? That's a Roman stack of doom. Okay, this is bad. Uh, what to do? We're gonna empty out our city here. with warriors, so it's kind of not critically bad, but a few bad rolls and I could be in trouble.
can ask for a piece now. Uh, overstretch ourselves a bit too much, but uh, we got a bunch of territory in exchange. actually give me an idea we should settle here. <laughs>
moving my horses in part to protect for, from this barbarian and also in case we lose Seattle. That was a nice... That was a strong uh, elite horseman. Yeah, we're not ready for another attack. Let's do this. The nice thing about barbarians is they don't discriminate. built a library yet, so what was the library from? This is how bad I am at this game now. I forgot where the, where the buildings are attached. Oh, literature. Let's do that first. I'm a Dumbo. So the Celts are moving down to attack the Zulus. And that's one of the things uh, with Civ 3 that's different from Civ 5 is you see these much more dynamic early war situations. Um, in Civ 5 things are much more uh, calmer in the early game. They're not as hectic. Here if an AI smells blood, they're very likely to declare war against the losing side in a war. why the AI is settling up here because the AI knows the map. That's one of the cheats they get in the city. But they can't defend this because their empire isn't even nearby. They're just settling where they can. I don't know where these barbarians are from, but we need to fix that. And I need to...
more slaves than ever. So, these slaves are nice because they're free. One thing you have to do in Civ 3 is, um, rather than um, kind of concentrate all your troops in an area or spread them out, you have to be much more uh, strategic about where you place your troops because the enemy can show up with a huge stack. So you, I usually like to position my stacks in strategically important places so I can quickly move them around. So. I have a huge stack here that I can probably use to cover this area. Um, I want to make a new stack that kind of covers this side of the uh, map. So this will be my eastern army, my western army. Um, I've got some units here. Uh, the horses will be my mobile units. Uh, I have to work on those. So, And that's also part of the reason why we declared peace is we need to build up. We stretch ourselves really thin. We don't have that many defenders. Okay, Philadelphia. Should get a Coliseum. I'm not too concerned about all these settlements up here. I can take them later if I need to. You can see here, Makura has been in the Celtic territory for a long time now, but because well, guess they like us very much, or for whatever reason, they haven't really, um, they haven't really asked us to leave. So moving my sword, so this will be the core of my new army. I'm still a little fighting with the uh, UI or the controls for a bit because the uh, Civ 5 controls are different from this game. 
So the hotkeys I'm used to using are not exactly the same as this one. Okay, so I hooked up San Francisco. I'm gonna hook up Seattle and I'll get my die soon. Let's build a mine here. Bonus is we connect a road, and if we want to attack Persepolis, we can just go directly in there. The only downside is uh, who's next to the Persians? No one. I don't like how they've cut off my northern expansion. I was hoping to settle here, but there are other enemies to fight, like the Babylonians. There must be a resource here because I see the um, the Persians are also trying to settle there, so there's probably something here they want. Oh, this is where the Chinese are. How strong the uh, Babylonians are because I don't like how they keep sending units through to our territory. I'm gonna have a good talk with them. Of it, I probably need a central army and a western army because my empire is wide, it's not compact. So, and with the road system, it takes a while for them to move around. I'm gonna talk to Babylon here. Okay, my units are in position. If they move in, I'm gonna attack them. Line. They keep moving in. Check. Oh. I didn't. 
expect that. That was bad. That was a lot of workers I've just lost. Oof, that sucks. Why do they keep attacking my city? It's their cities up here. I was hoping that they would absorb some of that garbage. That's what it is with Sivy. With setbacks like that, sometimes you, you, it's really hard not to want to uh, restart the game from the last save, but I just have to uh, tell myself that that's not good. I mean, I, I don't mind losing 
my native workers because I could always rebuild them. What sucks is losing the uh, slave workers because they're essentially free. The Celts have arrived to attack the Zulus, and that's one of the other things with uh, with Civ 3 is they they will travel a long distance, sometimes incredibly long distances to uh, attack, it, and it may not always make sense.
Okay, so I think we'll end our episode here. Um, I'm actually considering attacking the Zulus again, because I really want their capital city. Um, just because it's nicely positioned uh, here. It's a nice piece of land. Um, and I think the Celtic attack will, should destroy a lot of the Zulu units, which allows me to attack them, because I still have my main force stationed right here. Go down there and grab a city, maybe Papetti as well. Um, so that's something to consider. Uh, it was a bit of a setback here, losing a stack of five workers, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll recover. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.